I love it, right, whenever a mother um, sort of expresses any sense that maybe having kids isn't all that it's cracked out to be, um, that you get this kind of response. Blah, 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 shouldn't have had fucking kids then. Stop moaning, stop moaning about it. You chose to have kids. Yeah, I did choose to have fucking kids, Adele Bicker, whoever the fuck you are. But guess what? I didn't actually know that it was going to be a complete and utter shit show, all right? So it's a little bit too late for me to retract having the children that you're referring to. Um, no regrets or nothing, yeah, but um, I am entitled to whinge about it. And actually, the video that you wrote this comment on was me complaining about the gigantic bum breaks hanging out my ass. Um, and there's nothing that I can really do about those. So if you'd like to come round and push those hemorrhoids back in for me, um, that would be great if you're up for it. Just call me. Here are five different reasons that women list in this book um, regarding why they regret motherhood. Starting with one, the constant caretaking of children, the 24-7 nature of taking care of a child, and the mental load associated with it. Loss of identity and personal time and space. It was really interesting to hear some of these women talk about the loss of who they were um, and exchanging that for an identity they didn't necessarily want. Um, loss of time to pursue dreams and goals outside of motherhood. And a, a few of these women noted how motherhood does close the door to certain goals um, despite what popular society does say. And I think that's really interesting to consider. There are women who regret having kids for the sole reason to feel normal in society. They didn't feel supported enough to um, choose a different path. The final one being the amount of work motherhood actually. I just watched this video of a baby crying in the crib waiting for the mom. And all I could think about was how Stone was crying. And I didn't hear him. And now he's gone. I failed. I failed to him. I I, de I deserve to be like this. I, I know. He never thought that he would have went between the wall and her bed. I thought what I was doing was fine. I thought that you could sleep with your babies and it's all fine. Gordon said it would be quick, but I should be dead, not him. I wish I just used a damn crib instead of my bed, because now he's dead. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How you all doing? Today's video is about this lady. She came online to share her story. She titled it, I regret having a baby. So basically, yeah, her baby is having eczema. I, think that's, I guess that's how it's been pronounced and she's struggling with it she said while she was growing up she was a good auntie to her nephews and her nieces she was there taking care of them like she was their mom she did a whole lot for them changed their, their nappies fed them and all that she had sleepovers and all that so she was just trying to let us know that she loves babies and she's aware of what it takes not 100 percent a little bit of what it takes to be to to nurse a baby but why is hers different so her baby has eczema and she's been struggling and the baby is constantly scratching his face and that is making her feel more frustrated the write-up is a sad one if you, you can feel her pain from the write-up i'll try as much as possible to make to read it that way so waterfalls can understand her pain because you can feel her pain and how she feels from the right up so let's get right into it and read the full story i know i sound like a total weak coward from the title but i don't know how else to express myself with my struggles this life is just not for me i didn't expect it to be this hard i have so much respect for mothers i'm baffled with how much it's taking a toll on me mentally i'm not saying i didn't expect the night wakes and the crying for milk and the pain of teething etc i have 11 nephews and, and nieces i've taken care of them since i was 15 changed nappies fed them burped them 
put them to sleep sleepovers feeding entertaining taking them out literally being the most engaged auntie i could be because i love kids i love babies i always knew i wanted a big family but no more if i could go back i wouldn't have any i'm just struggling with the other issues cropping up my six month old has bad eczema on his face and legs i can't leave him alone for two seconds without him without him going for his face the amount of blood is horrendous i feel like a monster or am i neglecting him he's got scratches from managing to get out of the swaddles in his sleep and nap i can't even change his nappy it's just endless endlessly inevitable i'm just tired for advice when i know nothing is going to work i've tried everything i'm trying everything he also was he also has a wheat allergy a wheat allergy which makes winning hard i'm breastfeeding out of choice but no more my choice my choice because he refuses to take a bottle i'm just so done i'm angry all the time i'm resentful at my partner for not doing things the way i want i get pissed off at everything i hate who, who i am i hate who i'm becoming i'm having to pin down pin him down pin him down all the time he's not able to be left unsupervised i can't even sit and play with him for more than five minutes before he's at it again and then i have to pin him down restrict his arms etc i'm torturing the poor child i'm having to hear him scream with all his might all day and night because i'm pissing him off i just can't do it i want to walk away from everything i want to leave and never come back i hate it i hate myself for thinking things like this i want to be a loving nice mom with a happy child i get that 10 percent of the time so guys this is a story very sad very sad i feel her pain she's just a concerned mom that's frustrated with what's going on with her child this is all i see here it's a sad one okay let's go down to the comment section and see the advice people are dishing out so the big problem here is this her baby is having eczema and the fact that she cannot do anything about it she can't solve the problem is what is frustrating her here the fact that the baby has eczema and is making the baby act in a certain way is also fr frustrating her she said she has done everything she's been taking advices she's been trying everything and it's not working out for her obviously she's been to the doctor and it's not working for her to get and sitting back and watching her baby go through the pain scratching himself all the time and bleeding hurts her so well the fact that she cannot really make the baby feel good feel better hurts her the more and she feels helpless i guess that's the reason why she just wants to quit because she can't sit back and watch the baby pass through all them stuff it's a sad one it's just a consigned mom because from her story the history she gave she loves babies and she she was aware of what she was getting into she knows the struggle it's just that this particular struggle is quite different from what she was expecting because the baby had eczema let's go to the comment section and hear what people are saying sad story it's possible your baby could be allergic or have an e intolerance to milk slash breast milk what you are describing sounds exactly like my youngest brother horrific eczema over his face and body always crying sc and scratching himself etc after lots of tests they found that he was having reactions to my stepmom's breast milk and most formula milks the doctor prescribed him a special formula which helped him immensely hope you're okay this might help this might also be part of the problem but we don't know if she's tried this we don't know hi mama i'm sorry if you're feeling this way 
and this situation sounds horrible for all involved i struggled with eczema as a baby and i fully know my mom must have been feeling the exact way you are it is horrendous it's a horrendous condition to have especially for a newborn my mother would put me would put me things i'm sure you have already done this on me 247 i did manage to get out of these but mom would also give me oil bath and smooth on me in cream that in cream then oil ointment then wrap up any open wounds and swaddle me both baths were also common i'm sorry if you have or you have already done all these of the above with no luck i hope your little ones eczema gets a little better and maybe the overwhelm and maybe the overwhelm will subside a bit sending you love okay let's just take this little ones little comment it said she should consider putting socks on the baby's hands so he can scratch the other person said he should use medical tape to wrap round the top so the baby so so the stockings wouldn't slide off and the baby wouldn't scratch the skin you get put mittens on his hands there are some that have velcro so he can't pull them off himself so guys this is a very sad story like i said it's just a concerned mom that is crying out that's all i see here not someone really regretting having a child or having a baby she's just speaking out of frustration like she said in her right of she loves kids so these are also challenges parents face mothers face because sometimes you, you can't foresee what your child is going to have you can't tell the medical condition your child might have you can't tell the the um allergy your child might have to get you can only get to know if your child experiences that and it's difficult if you don't know how to navigate this in that situation i feel for her and i hope she looks at the comment section and i hope all them um suggestions helps her out honestly it's a sad one it's a sad one being a mom it's not a day's job it's not easy it's not one day journey no jokes it's a journey where you don't know what to expect that's the truth from the moment you're pregnant you're not sure of what to expect till you give birth you're not sure if you're even going to come out alive it's a very risky journey then the baby nurturing the baby you're also not sure of the outcome you're not sure of what the baby might develop you're not sure it just it's just too much uncertainty it's, it's just too much too much uncertainty it's just not an easy journey it's not easy it's not an easy one i re i regret becoming a mother i wish i had never had a kid now that i know what i know i wish i could go back in a time machine and not make the choices i did as a young woman in my mid-20s these are questions that i think about a lot do I really want to have kids? Will I regret having kids? Is everything you sacrifice in motherhood really worth what you get in return? If these are questions and feelings that keep you up at night, I really highly recommend Regretting Motherhood, a study by Orna Donath. I listened to the audiobook and I found it extremely helpful as a young woman who's trying to decide whether or not I want children. The study is written in a very digestible way. You don't need to be an academic to understand it. And you get to hear from a plethora of women who talk about their regrets when it comes to motherhood. I think it should actually be required reading for any woman out there. So guys, this is a story. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section and I'll see you guys in another video. Thank you so much for watching and bye.